Hi everyone, I'm Kalea Youngblood with the Austin Board of Realtors. And today we are doing the Chat with the Experts series. And I am excited to welcome our very own board member, Ken Minso, to join me today. Hey, Ken. Hi, Kalea. How are you? Great, great. Thanks so much for having um, the time, taking the time to be on the show with us today. So one of the things that's just obviously top to mind, top of mind right now is obviously this pandemic. But as a former broker and practitioner, I couldn't help but think of the different stages that our members are in or may be in with regards to their uh, business. So like whether you're a new agent and you just entered into this business and then this happens or you're, you know, maybe have been a, an agent for a couple of years and you're rocking and rolling, you've got your systems in place. And then this is the real first hurdle that you're seeing, right? Yeah. Um, or you're a seasoned agent who may have gone through the 2008 crash and, um, you know, had to bounce back from that and, and you had to be resilient and all of those things. And then this happens. And so I would just like to hear from you with regards to those three different scenarios. What are you telling agents? What are they saying to you? And how are we, how are we kind of collectively getting through this right now? Yeah, I am, uh, I am fortunate. I talk to quite a few agents each day that are, um, and I'll start with the newer agents first, because um, what I'm hearing from them is, wow, I just got into this business in February, January, February, March, because um, we're not getting anybody here in April to May, because Trek obviously stopped the test process and they're stuck right they're like what do I do now so and it is a brand new even as an experienced agent you have to kind of think all right I'm gonna have to reimagine my goals my plans this is not business as usual this is different times so all of us have had a chance to step back and think all right what you know what can I do mm -hmm. so, as I get those questions and I hear them say, I'm overwhelmed, not sure what to do, I'll say, hey, you know, understand that you are in two businesses. You're in the, you are in the business of helping people with real estate and you're also in the business of growing your business and letting folks know you're in real estate. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, two, it's two businesses. Um, and there's some simple things like, hey, block your personal days off. You know what, take your calendar for the next month, plan all your fun and family days first block that, and then commit to your work days. If you're gonna work, then attend an ABOR class, then do something with your broker. Practice writing a contract. S creating that schedule will help you with some solace. So what about the agents that are like, maybe three to seven years in, they're rocking and rolling, they've got uh, their systems in place, they've got, you know, they've, they've got some, maybe a few listings or contracts in the, in the pipeline. Um, and then this happens and it's kind of like a, oh no, mo a moment. Um, I'm going to have to shift and pivot. What do I do? What do you say to those guys? Yeah, they're probably the, your agents that have established a pipeline. They have some business. They're, they're probably not worried. Oh, wow. I, I have to remove doing open houses now in my repertoire. They may have been doing open houses. So they're, they have a little bit of confidence built up. So I would tell them, Now's the time to not sit back. It may take you a week to adjust. I think all of us, it took us a couple of weeks to adjust to our, uh, I don't think we can get, we can reminisce about what, how things used to be. I think we have to move on and think, all right, I would tell them, hey, double down on your connection to your sphere. You should be spending 30 to 40% of your schedule connecting with your past clients. I call them forever clients. Hopefully they'll be your clients forever and your sphere and doubling down on that and really working hard on their personal development now more than ever. Mm -hmm. But that take the primary. So I would say, hey, double down on your sphere. They will love hearing from you right now. Mm -hmm. So that, that is, uh, they will really appreciate that. And um, they, these are agents that already know how to follow up. So they have great follow up skills. So I, I don't, I wouldn't want them to get stuck in the story. Well, people don't want to hear from me now. No, actually they do. They mm -hmm. do. Now, now more than ever, probably. Now more yeah. than ever. Right. Yes, ma'am. And yeah. then what about, what about our seasoned agents that, you know, are maybe only work referral business or they've been, they were, they experienced the 2008 crash and, um, mm -hmm. you know, ha had to overcome that. And then now this, 
are you seeing them get creative or is there anything that they are doing or are they just going right back to the fundamentals of what they know is tried and true? Yeah, I, I see them, what I'm seeing them do now is I'm seeing them give back. I'm seeing them help oh. from other agents. I'm seeing them embracing technology better than they used to. I'm one of those. I'd really not done a lot of Zoom stuff until, and I can't tell you the value of connecting with people at all different levels using technology. I, I think it forced us all to do that. And you really have to realize it's still about building relationships. It's still about, I do think it's the time for them to contribute and give back and volunteer, especially to the agents that are, this is scaring them, right? And this is our chance to show leadership and say, you know, let's, let's, hey, let's, my first year in real estate was 2001 and September 11th happened. I mean, we stopped for almost three months. Mm -hmm. That's certain a really nothing, good point. Yeah. Certain nothing like this, but I, I, that I'm seeing the folks that are, that have, and I, I feel like I'm a puppy. I've only been in it for around 20 years. I'm talking to like some agents that have been in 30, 35 years. And to them, they're like, man, all right, new day, new plan, new process. I'm ready to get after it. I'm excited mm -hmm. about this. They're still excited about it. So I'm seeing That's a great. lot of passion in some of the folks that are long, long-term realtors. That's great. They know how to give back. They know when to double down and go see their people. Yes. They're, they're like, this is awesome. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That takes well, <laughs> so I've been um, interested to see, you know, with social media and kind of what everybody's doing in their home life. Um, I was just curious, like, are any of your agents or anything, anybody that you know is getting really creative with regards to um, lead generation or, you know, I know obviously Zoom or face-to-face um, -face time uh, via technology, uh, that sort of method, but any, are they getting creative with any other ways for lead oh, generation? Yeah, now, because I had a lot of agents before saying, you know, I was thinking about doing a YouTube video. I'm like, you can't think about that anymore. You really have to get to action and um, have a message, serve a purpose, think about your audience, think about what people want to hear and how you can serve them. It's not about us. It's can we communicate what clients are wanting to know? I mean, just the fact that the Fed has been pouring billions of dollars into the bond market and interest rates are at, I heard somebody get a 3.2, actually a 15 year note was 2.5%. Incredible. So we should be telling that story out there and using technology, so I, and the old stuff, it all does work, by the way, Colette. Personal notes, text, Facebook, phone calls, it all. So now is the time to not be shy. Now is the time to do the stuff you've been talking about. Now is the time to do that. What about for open houses and showings? I, I heard of somebody who's setting up shop right outside the front door. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you heard any, any agents doing anything creative with open houses and showings? Yeah, I, I, it certainly helps if the house is vacant, right? So, because yeah. you, can really, you can really monitor. I love the signs that Abor did that said, hey, hold on, be, be right with you, we'll let you in. So I, I think being thoughtful about that, I, a couple of our agents have done some open houses. They're being cautious still. I'm, okay. hearing, more, I'm hearing more virtual tours and Matterport tours and seeing people do beautiful videos and reaching their folks. One of our agents early in, she did an entire, um, they did an entire walkthrough with a set of buyers on Zoom and they got the house under contract on Zoom. Wow. Buyer not even going in there. And the seller did it, she coached her seller and the buyers really loved it. Like they loved that connection and the seller could talk about it. So I, I, I think now is the time we get to think, all right, so we should be reimagining what do open houses of the future look like? Mm -hmm. I think now's the time to start thinking, wow, we as a profession, I, it, I think it's going to have to change. Mm. That's interesting. You know, we always knew that um, buyers are on the internet and they're scouring the internet and the MLS and they're, they're looking at all the pictures. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think now probably more so they're narrowing down saying, I, 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 if I'm going to have to see a home, if I'm going to have to go on a showing, I want to be really careful and narrow down my showing list. And I know that a realtor can help them do that, obviously, mm -hmm. um, but maybe only just go see it once. You yeah. know, you know, you just go see it once. Look at all the pictures, get all the questions mm -hmm. asked and answered before you show, and then just walk through it one time. So 
um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Selfish AWER plug, we launched AWER on, AWER on Air, which is our virtual education platform. And we kicked it off with um, the well-known speaker, Tom Ferry. And Tom, you know, he got real serious with our members and sort of said, look, don't furlough yourself. Don't put yourself out of a job. Um, you know, why are you, why are you sequestering yourself down to nothing when the home is more important now than ever? The value of the home, everybody is home right now, dealing with their pantry that's too small and their need for a home office all of a sudden. Yes. Home has never been more important than now. So don't furlough yourself. That was his big, you know, takeaway for our members, which I found to be so, so true. And it was a little disheartening to see, I guess I, I hadn't thought about our agents or realtors feeling discouraged and kind of saying, well, maybe I should file for unemployment or whatever it is. Yeah. And so we took that message and we definitely took it to heart and, and have been encouraging agents, don't do that. Don't furlough yourself during this time. Now is the time to do so much more. So what, what would you say to that? Um, what do you say to your agents who, might, who might be feeling a little discouraged or hindered by the current climate and the current situation? Yeah, I think your environment does matter. Who you're around matters. So I would say reach out to your peers, your broker, your office, and 50% of that responsibility belongs to you. You should reach out and get in and start plugging back in. This is not the time to sit back. Our clients and our community needs us more than ever. We're an essential service. Mm -hmm. Are on the front lines of folks. They need us more than ever. And I wonder, you know, I, I often think, boy, by doing that, maybe we help people feel like, you know, not everything is stopping. So I think we have a responsibility to do our part of this and let people know we're in it with you guys. This is a marathon. We don't know how this is gonna turn out, but here's what we can do. Each day I tell agents, think about what's my top business priority and what's my top personal priority. Let me focus on the top things I can do. And your top thing should be making sure everybody knows that you're there to help them. And this is, this is not the time to step back. This is the time to actually kind of double down because if you don't, you're not going to have any kind of a pipeline. Now, you're, I'm not telling you should call folks and say, hey, use me as a realtor. That feels kind of, you know, salesy. Um, people are going to, you have to stay top of mind. So if you stay top of mind, you'll be so far ahead. Those that aren't, you'll be just that much further ahead and being able to serve folks because I feel like we're going to have a, I don't, I'm not a, I don't have a crystal ball. I do feel like our summer and early, early fall is going to be pretty steady. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what our, our sort of indicators are, are showing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, and this sort of idea of don't stop moving, you know, yeah, no. is, yeah. is yeah. keeps bubbling up in my head. Um, don't yeah. stop moving. Don't stop believing. Whatever that. Don't stop is, moving. But, don't stop believing. Yeah. Showing yeah. up is, is 90% of it. Hey, you know, Pick your day and say, you know, I'm going to work at this, my day, treat it like a job, you know, but uh, have a place where you can go and work and, and again, just treat it as a professional job. And uh, mm -hmm. even if, it, even on days you don't feel like it, you know, get in and start doing something. Uh, mm -hmm. It matters. It does matter. What are we saying to agents who are like struggling with the work-life balance? You know, those people who might be homeschooling, um, those people who are maybe alone. You know, what is, it, do you find that agents are coming to you with that problem or has it been okay? Yeah, I, I, I am hearing it. I hear it. I feel it. I sense it because I've been paying attention to the social media channels. I call, I text, I talk with a lot of different folks each day. And my sense is there's a blend of that. There's a blend of folks that are still kind of stuck. They're in a funk. And, um, and I just remind them to say, hey, listen, just do, it is about creating a calendar and a plan. Take your calendar and plan the next couple of weeks. I do think Nirvana is taking a day off, actually having a day where you can go enjoy this beautiful weather mm -hmm. with your family. I don't, I've, I've heard this once, I believe that you may have several focus days. I bet I could encourage folks to have three amazing focus business days during the week. 
and get after it. I like doing it in the first part of the week, like Monday through Wednesday. So by Thursday and Friday, I'm a little more entrepreneurial. I can roll, I can talk with folks because I kind of feel like we get worn out towards the end. And mm -hmm. Nirvana is actually making sure you're also blocking your, your schedule for your family. Because the worst thing is to be with your family, thinking about work, checking on your phone, doing that stuff. That takes a lot of practice to learn balance and just to, and to actually, I have an autoresponder. So I'm out today. I'll get back to you tomorrow on my voicemail, on my text, on my email messages so I can protect that. So if I can teach people how to learn to protect their family time as well as their business time, that helps them get some of that balance back. Yeah. yeah. And you know, realtors are known to be workaholics too. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like a minor detail, common denominator I've, I've learned over Jeez. the years. Yeah. Tell me about Around it. Around the then, clock, 24 seven. Oh yeah. Hey, I, and, I come from the resort business. So when I worked in the resort business in the early 1990s, 70, 80 hours, was no big deal for me. I kind of, when I got to real estate, I thought, is that all we have to do? This feels easy because I wasn't on my feet that long. So I yeah. guess had the benefit of that perspective. But I, I, I do feel for folks that feel like you're not going to, you're not going to be that effective if you'll burn out, if you just grind, 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 and don't have a time to uh, exercise, spend time with family, work on your, work on yourself, your spiritual self, pray, meditate, read. Those things matter more than ever right now. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, you know, I just, I, I appreciate you coming in and coming in and talking to us. <laughs> um, I would be remiss if I didn't ask for another ABOR Selfish plug because it happens to be board application time and we are actively seeking for new board members to apply to our board of directors. Man, the deadline right. is May 31st. And so... I was just wondering if you would say a few words about your experience thus far being on our board. You're yeah. a fairly new board member to us and just talk about, you know, what your experience is, maybe what you've learned, what your takeaways have been so far and tell our, tell our friends out there um, a little bit, a little bit about that experience for us. Yeah, I think I was telling you and Romeo and, and uh, Emily as well. Um, you know, you guys have been holding back. You didn't tell me it was going to be this much fun. This <laughs> We have we, we gave you a taste on professional development committee, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I do feel like my investment in the professional development committee, I felt I've been serving for four to five years in a committee, uh, taking the Texas Leader Real, Realtor uh, Program certification, educated me. Um, I feel like, I do feel like those, um, you don't have to wait to be a 20 year veteran to volunteer. Start now, start with the little things you can do. And if you're really looking to up your game and volunteer and challenge yourself on a professional level, I enjoy the, the conversation I have with our board. Um, you know, we go through lots of conversations. Everybody gets to talk about their perspective, share, and everybody's perspective is really valuable. And, and I don't, you know, I never get the feeling that my perspective is not valued and that, mm -hmm. and it does matter. So, I mean, this is the time to step up and help because people are going to blink and it's going to be five years down the road and they're thinking, you know, I've always thought about serving on the board, but you're going to blink and five years is going to go by. Uh, I would say don't wait. Apply, go through the application process, go through the vetting process. You'll learn a lot about yourself. And it, um, I don't know that there's any better thing you can do as a person to, to we're talking about increasing your impact. We're talking well beyond the success of selling homes. We're talking about your, your impact for future realtors, you know, for our future generations. It's a lot of That's great. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Yeah. We're excited to have you on the board. I know that me personally with working with you for so many years, I was oh, like, yes, having, Ken's on our board now. <laughs> we we yeah. have a lot of fun. It, it, it is work. I mean, it is work, but it, it, um, it's so rewarding at the end of the day. Yeah, we have a lot of great diverse perspectives too. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have somebody from mm -hmm. sort of all walks of life and all facets of the business join us on the board. And so um, yes. you're a big part of that too. Thank so you. we appreciate you, Ken. I don't Thank want to take up too much of your time. Yes, ma'am. Um, 
thanks to everybody for chiming in and um, joining our chat with the experts. We'll have a few more that are coming out later uh, in the coming weeks. Please check out awar.com for more information. Mm -hmm.